स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द क्लास आई एम टीचिंग यू सेम चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर सेवन हेल्थ एंड हाइजीन Dear children, in the chapter today, I am going to explain you about the diseases caused by worms. The first disease I am going to explain you about elephantiasis. That is also known as filaria. Elephantiasis or filaria is a parasitic disease caused by a round worm. The filarial worms are transmitted and spread by blood feeding black flies and mosquitoes. Upon entering the body, the larva of the worm accumulate in an organ of the body and multiply where they cause the chronic inflammations of that organs. Depending upon the infecting parasite, there are two different kinds of filariasis that affect different parts of the body. First is lymphatic fibrosis. Lymphatic fibrosis caused by the Vecchiaria bancraft. Vecchiaria bancraft is warm. These worms affect the lymphatic system, especially the lens node. Chronic cases of lymphatic filariasis lead to the disease elephantiasis. Next is scrambotaneous filariasis is a caused by the lower lower worm, which borrow inside uh, itself in the subcutaneous fat layers right under the skin. These worms are responsible for river blindness. Elephantiasis symptoms include swelling in legs, arms and um, mm, breast. Repeated bacterial infection of the in skin Fever and chills, these all are the symptoms of elephantiasis. Now, the second disease caused by worms are ascaresis. Ascaresis, the disease ascaresis is caused by an intestinal parasite called Ascaris, also known as round worms. The round worm is a pale white, long, standard tube like worm that lives in the intestine of humans. The round worm is present in the feces of a person infected with it in the form of eggs. The eggs are transported from the infected feces to a healthy individual by flies. The point of entry for the parasite usually means from the mouth, that is from unhygienic food and water. The eggs hatch and a person through the intestine and enters the lungs through the blood cells. Here, they break into the alveoli in the lungs. 
move up to the tracheas where they are swallowed and cut. When the larva pass through the stomach from the uh, uh, several times, they mature into adults' worms. Improved access to sanitization would be the biggest steps towards riding the world of escalizes. Properly functioning and cleaning of toilets greatly reduce the possibilities of a fly picking up a round worm's egg and infecting someone else. Washing hands with soap after the restroom is another thing we should practice religiously. Now dear children, there is one more disease that is technasia that I am going to explain you in the next class. Thank you students.